Hello, everybody. Woo! How are you today? This is our Wake Up and Airbrush. We are live. Coming to you live Monday through Thursday. We come to you live at 10:30 uh, a.m. Central Time. Great way for you to ask questions, um, see it being done, and move on and start airbrushing. So today we're going to do a picture perfect um, airbrush because airbrushing is great for photos. It's great for every day. Hey, Lori. Um, it's not just for special occasions. Um, a lot of people will say, oh yeah, airbrush, but just on special occasions. No girl, you airbrush every day. Good morning, Veronica. Um, and so that's what we're going to do today. So today I do have a little bit of mascara on because, um, today was first day of school and sure as heck wasn't going to go in there with no makeup on looking like a hot mess for the first day. Thank you, Lori or Veronica. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank And thank you, Lori. Um, I needed something bright today. Bright and bright. Um, so anyway, yes, airbrush every single day. So we know that there's people that come in and join us that are on uh, different levels of airbrushing. So we always go over the basics. We always go over the beginning. So I'll show you one of our starter kits. I still need to get the Breeze starter kit. Um, this is the Icon. We also have the Icon Pro and the Legend. Um, and of course, the Breeze. And what you see here comes with the makeup it it's not hey buy our system and then buy the makeup it's all together and we get give you two bottles of foundation that are similar in color because that way you can have that perfect color match one might be the right one one might be too light one might be too dark or whatever the case may be but we um we make sure to give you that range so you can get a perfect match um, the love is a hydrating illuminator. It, um, gives your skin some luminosity, but it's very, um, I guess the best word it's flesh like, so it's, it, it's not bright, 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 but it's going to give your skin some luminosity. And then, um, the blush is super high pigmented. And so it does bloom on you. Um, these are the steps that we want you to do right here when first starting out so you want to make sure when you're doing this that you're going to keep that stylus moving 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 barely pull down on the sugar but you do want to keep it four finger widths away and always point it straight at you don't point to the side don't like get in an angle always right at you um and the reason for that is i mean we need it to point right at you on how it goes on and you'll want to watch yourself in the mirror and make sure you're that four finger widths away because what happens is once the once it's on and the, and the air blows at you, you, even though it's a little kiss of air, you either do this or you come in too close because you're not used to that air. Um, so you'll definitely want to watch that. Hello, Wanda from Alabama. Uh, good morning. Did I say, man, everybody's talking. Hello, Cindy. Um, all right. Georgia. Georgia. All right, let's go ahead and start. I still didn't get, I need love. I need some love in my life. I didn't get some extra love. Hold on, I'm looking through my backup to see what I have. Nope, 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 nope. Well, paper scoopers. All right, so, is this one? Nope. I'm looking, I'm looking. I thought I had a big old thing of it, but I don't know where it went. Is it here? Nope. All right. Whatever. We will go with. Oh, you know, we'll do we'll do the prism color correctors because we haven't talked about those in a while. Um, the peach is one of my favorites. Um, Mill Creek, Utah. Um, okay, can I tell you that I love Utah? Um, Utah was the very first place that I tasted the um what's that in and out burger never had that before um and i watch all the crazy shows on um like the discovery channel where it's like um oh what is it is it not blind frog ranch but it's the other one where um they have some like weird stuff going on I love stuff like that. 
and I would love the Curse of Oak Island, but that's not in Utah. But yes, I love Utah. <laughs> I went to go. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's a ranch. It's by the Blind Frog Ranch, but this is another one, and I can't remember it. But I always watch those shows. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> I I uh, <laughs> Jane said it's weird here. I love it. Love it. All right. So I'm using the peach color corrector and I'm using the peach color corrector underneath my eyes and on my eyes because my eyes are darker and my lids are. And then under my eyes, um, I have a little bit of darkness there. Um, I have some rosacea and then some broken capillaries too, but I'm still using the peach color corrector. The peach prism color corrector is going to help with any brown spots, sunspots, dark circles, all of that. And it doesn't matter your skin tone, you can use the peach. Now, the reason for that is because it should never look peach on you, okay? So you're not spraying so hard that it looks peach, okay? So you're going to spray super light. So in the beginning, in if you're a newbie, chances are you're going to be spraying heavier. So if you want to put a drop of your foundation in there, that's fine, but know that you'll get to that point. So you'll get to the point where you are spraying lightly um, and it'll work. Now, I have to say that is probably the biggest thing is that when people first get it, they spray too hard, flat out. They're going to spray too hard. So, be, and, and it makes sense because the only thing you know up until this point is traditional makeup. With traditional makeup, you're used to seeing that opaqueness. You're used to, you know, seeing that line and then having to blend that line out. Whereas with airbrush, you're not, you should not see a line because this is your brush. This is your brush. And so it blends as you put it on. So I have my peach color corrector. I'm going to start under my eyes, make my movement first, and then lightly pull down on my trigger. And I just think I've got an eyelash in my eye. Okay, Jane, I have to ask, have you had any like um, paranormal, not paranormal, but like alien stuff happen? I don't know why I'm all into that. And I want to remember, I'm going to put a little bit more just to add a little bit more. And guys, guess what? You can, you can do that. If you're putting it on and you're like, ah, I need a little bit more cover, just put another drop. Any um, like the uh, alien stuff. We also, when I was there, we saw the uh, Mormon Tabernacle choir, not the choir, but the, the um, church, cathedral, I guess. No, par not, it's not paranormal. It's um, what I think it's alien stuff. If y'all get a chance, watch, watch the Curse of Oak Island too. It's really interesting. It's the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. There is it a tabernacle? <laughs> I'm showing my smarts. <laughs> Good thing I'm pretty. Just kidding. Um, all right, so I have the peach color corrector and it starts at coverage. Now, also because I'm not um, touching my face, I'm going in and I'm going to put something else. Nothing is being removed. And that's a lot of times, um, Veronica, you're into it all, all, uh, as well. Oh, thank you, Jane. <laughs> um, when, when you do traditional makeup, you end up, if you put something else on, like if I go to foundation right now, I end, you end up erasing or taking off what you just did. And so to me, that's why airbrushing makes sense with the coverage. It goes on like little dots, little pixels all over your face. And so you're just filling in that space to get the coverage. Coverage is done by passes. So I did passes under here on my lids, on my nose to start that coverage. And now everything I add is giving me more coverage, right? So let's go. Um, I did do the um, 
oh, the matte bronzer for um, some contouring the other day, and I really liked it. So I'm going to do that again, but I'm still going to do my blush contour um, as well. Hi, Mia. Okay, so I'm going super light. I mean, super light. a little bit up here a little bit of my, and then definitely more down here and guys if you're new to airbrushing if you're new to luminesce remember we have these class or we have these lives where you can ask me questions right now right here um we also do classes um i do uh classes monday through friday just kidding monday through thursday Ding dong, Monday and Wednesday, um, where it's a small group class. Monday, it's Monday and Wednesday at noon Central Time, and um, you get, get to ask questions. You get to talk. Um, hey, Heather, I'm having issues with this, or Hey, I, I've done this, but it's not working. Anything like that, and we go over a little bit more detail on how to get started. Um, how to practice so it starts making sense to you um so i do go into a lot more detail but your questions get answered um, and i pretty much guarantee you that after we're done you're have a new um love for airbrush and so not only that and the link is below if you ever want to book a um a class but on facebook if you type in luminous live we have heather 2.0 her name's dorothy and she's on monday through friday nine to five i think it's eight to five actually and you can ask her questions right then and there she plays some uh, videos she does different things but you can ask her questions i'm now doing the blush and i'm doing my blush a little bit higher because i like the blush contour and the blush contour just means um i don't know where she is I don't know. So we're, notice how I'm just kind of going back and forth, back and forth. I don't just stay here and ba 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 until I get it to where I want it. I let it because it will bloom. So I keep giving it a little time, a little time, and then I'm gonna let it, with those two drops. That's all I'm gonna do because you can probably already tell <clears throat> that it is coming up, like it is going. To, it's getting a little more intense. <coughs> Oh, sorry. Y'all better give me some love. I don't see any hearts or thumbs up. And remember, 106. Oh, girl, in Fresno today. Um, Remember, I don't care if you make a... Um, oh, look what I just found, love. We'll use that today. Um, I don't care if you have a... Make a mad face or whatever. The only requirement... <coughs> the only requirement is you have to tell me. You have to tell me why, because again, I pretty much can guarantee you that whatever you're upset about, whatever you're like, this doesn't work. I can't do this. <coughs> I can fix it where you can. I can, I can show you what to do where it will work. Okay. So that's my only thing is you can't, you can't leave a sad face and run. All right. Now I have my foundation in. I'm going to start on one side of my face, make my do, 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 do. keep going, keep going. And guys, it's not a race. Okay. I'm not having to hurry. I'm just making my moves. You're never in one spot twice, but there is overlap. Okay. Now, because I did the peach color corrector, because I did the blush and the contour, that gives me coverage already. So really, I'm just going in here and blending. So I don't need all eight drops. Chances are I probably only need like four or five when you get to that point. All right, now I'm going to add my love. Oh, thank you, Veronica. You're so sweet. I'm adding my love. Now, love is the hydrating illuminator. It's going to give, you've probably seen commercials like, oh, my skin looks so luminous. 
that's what love is going to do for you. It's going to give you that young, youthful glow. Now, we do not want the young, youthful glow all over our face. It'll look like we need a powder, okay? We don't want to look like a disco ball. Even though this isn't really a shimmer shimmer, it will have some uh, luminosity to it. So I'm only going to do it high cheekbone area, nose, and I'm not being like super precise with it. But see how like even right there. See how oh, look how much younger I look. Bam, 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 bam. All right, there we go. So I only used about three drops. Now at this point, I'm done airbrushing. So you would want to clean it out. I run warm water through this. Do not stick this under the faucet. Did you hear me? Do not stick it under the faucet. You're going to open this up, drop some water in there, and I run water through it a few times till it kind of runs clean. And then I'll use my tip top cleaner and then um, back bubble to make sure it all runs out. So now I'm going to grab this one. I know what you think. I know you think you know, I know you think you know what I grabbed, but do you, do you? And now I'm going to do just a little bit of eyeshadow. I'm going to go in with the mauve color. I'm using the nude and naughty, of course, um, with the mauve eyeshadow. And I'm really just kind of stick to the lid and kind of move it over. Now, depending on your eye shape, depending on your eye, depending on your taste, you might, you know, I'm good with just one color. You know, I love to be able to give a polished look with just one color. It's all about the blending. So I am blending more on my lid than I normally do. Cause, why? Because I just want to change it up. And go back and forth and look, one color, bam, bam, I'm done but I still want to keep it light. So I'm not even going to do anything underneath. I am going to keep, I'll probably add a little bit more mascara. And now I'm going to add my lip liner. What color do you think I'm going to add? Huh? What color? What color do you think I'm going to add? Where'd my love go? I'm going to put that where I can find it. Anybody? Anybody? I know there's a delay, so that's why I'm waiting, but Anybody? Anybody? What color do you think I'm going to add? Naughty pink. Naughty pink. You're like, what? <laughs> Tricked everybody. So, going in there. Adding. And then I fill it in because this is all I'm using for my lips. But if you look at this and you're like, uh, no, Heather, I could never wear that bright of lip. There are different things that you can do to tone it down. Number one, you can line with a uh with the dusty rose get the neutral liner or put on a um um like a lip gloss or a lip the lip conditioner blot it out and then add it it won't be as strong you'll get some color but it won't be as strong um i kind even if i wanted to kind of die uh dial this back a little Oh, girl, Veronica, you're so sweet. Even if I wanted to kind of dial it down a little, I I kind of like covering the lip with the lipstick or with the lip liner because it sets. It gets in there. Oh, hey, Jeannie. Good to see you back. Um, I can kind of press that color, that pigment in my lips, and it, it's going to have a bigger stain power. And then I can add a gloss if I want or add something to a lipstick, a neutral lip. Um, so you can kind of change it up if you need to. So you can do it both. You can put the liner on first, let that color set, and then put a lip gloss on top. So 
there you go, guys. Easy breezy, lemon squeezy. Um, glad y'all are all here. Today was the first day back in school. I know my she's in second grade now, and I have such a hard time with that. I was fine because there was a lot going on, but then as I was driving driving here, I was like, hmm, my baby's in second grade. That makes me sad. So, but I'm okay. I'm okay. She's growing up, big girl. All right, guys. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. All right, I'll probably add a little bit more, a little bit more mascara, um, and then I'll be set and ready to go. All right, thank you so much for joining me today, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. All right, bye for now.